Now the federal government has reiterated its commitment to sustain progress in the implementation of beneficial ownership disclosure, which is part of the reforms in the extractive sector. The Minister of State, Budget and National Planning, Clem Agba, disclosed this on Tuesday in Abuja. Here's the rest of the story. The national launch of opening extractives in Nigeria, the Minister of State, Budget and National Planning, Clem Agba, said the beneficial ownership transparency program is not a global norm and Nigeria cannot afford to be left behind as this will help in the fight against corruption. Very early in the day, identifying video disclosure as a game changer in pursuing the boundaries of transparency and accountability in our extractive industries. Native view bio transparency as a proactive measure that could be used to stem corruption and malfeasance acts in Nigeria's extractive sector. Recall also that at the time, the OML 245, the Malabo oil deal, was on the front burner. Speaking earlier, the Executive Secretary, Nigeria Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, Naiti, noted that hidden corporate ownership poses real and present danger to Nigeria's collective development. See, in any part of the globe, is a threat to openness all over the world. And regardless of our location, we are all at risk <coughs> at the dangers posed by anonymous companies. The revolution in Panama Papers, and most recently the Panama Panama Papers. Panama Papers clearly illustrated this danger, which we must all work together to nip in the bud. While lending their voice, Mark, Mark Robinson and Olusha Gwadekunle said the opening extractives will help ownership of transparency in Nigeria. We will enable your ministry through the Nigerian EITI Secretariat to access technical assistance to improve the implementation of beneficial ownership transparency as required by the EITI standard and in accordance with the country's priorities. The practical risks to the finances, security and economic stability of countries. Nigeria and our allies in the EITI are concerned over issues of money laundering, tax evasion, insecurity, and numerous social and economic crimes associated with unknown companies that litter the entire group. The Executive Secretary, Nate, is said committed to deliver its mandate in Nigeria's oil, gas, and mining sector through implementation of Nate's turn.